Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today we have five Lenormand decks in front of us and that is five choices. The choice one, two, three, four and five. And the question we ask you is what are their feelings? Right, so um, the, I've done a video already, a tarot card, more in-depth reading, in which I went into what what are their feelings and their intentions. And for those of you who've watched that, well, this is a kind of follow-up on that, a more current um, uh, reading, so to say. And for those of you who have not watched that, well, if you want a little bit more detail, then perhaps go back and watch um, that one. But this is just going to be a very quick what are they feeling and what are their feelings and uh, what do they tend to do? Okay, so once again, it's deck one, two, three, four, and five, and you can find the timestamps in the description box that is below the video. So for those of you who have chosen the first deck, uh, which was this one here, the question we're asking today is, what are their feelings? What are their feelings? Okay, so for those of you who've chosen this deck here, what I'm seeing is that they're feeling that this has ended, okay? They're feeling that this has ended, they're feeling that this is broken off, there's a degree of mourning or grief that is associated with that. They see that this is finished. In their eyes, um, this is at the end. However, there is a hope that they have. There's a hope that they have that there could be a friendship or that there would be loyalty or that the feelings that they that you have would still will continue to exist okay and um the the action that they're going to take towards you or the intentions that they have is simply to feel yeah this is the card is simply to feel simply to go into the emotions to understand what it is that they've come out of understand what it is that they have experienced and simply to feel what it is that they feel I, I don't see them coming forth and doing anything or, or going back to you immediately. Although perhaps you'd want to check in on that a bit later and see whether that uh, that there is a change. Uh, yeah, they they feel that something has ended here. And I feel that that is the relationship that they have. In another scenario, it could be that perhaps you are ending a relationship with somebody else and they've been waiting for you. Uh, to be available and so they see the ending there and now they're hoping that there could be friendship between you two or there could be loyalty between you two or that something could be between you two at least at the very least a friendship um just trying to see if there's another scenario here the other way of reading these cards is to say that um so the first, uh, the first option I gave you is actually the one that I'm feeling for most of you, but there may be others who would be uh, feeling this as well, is that um, the hope that they have had, the hope that they've had is an, as um, the hope that they've had of the loyalty, of the friendship, of being there for you, of being in your life is, is now, uh, has now ended. And they just going to delve into their feelings here and they're going to, um, work through that. They're going to visit the dark side of their emotions and simply allow that to uh, come to light. They're going to wait until these emotions have passed and until there is light again. So that is basically um, the reading for those of you who've chosen the first uh, deck. Yes, this is a very quick, uh, what are they feeling uh, today? And as I said, if you uh, in the intro that if you actually want to have a um, a more detailed reading then uh, please uh, go to the feelings and intentions reading that I posted a few weeks ago so for those of you who've chosen the second deck here the question that we're asking is what is it that they are feeling what is it that they are feeling for you and what action are they going to take towards you
So with the second option here, what I see is that um, what they're feeling for you is, um, it, they, well, they have hope again, okay? But they are feeling as if this situation is a burden. They're feeling all the difficulties of the situation. They're very much wrapped around the difficulties of the situation. And uh, they're feeling all the all the um, the burdens, yeah, they're feeling the heaviness of the situation. They recognize that um, in order for something to be, that there has to be uh, a lot of, there's a lot of things that need to be done. It's almost as if they need to take some actions in their lives which will exhaust them or which will tire them, or which would be very hard for them. And so they're feeling that. They're feeling the the difficulty, the hard how hard this is. They feeling they feel as if they've got a whole load over them, which they're carrying over their shoulders, and they are struggling to to keep um, to keep you know going. But there is a hope, and this is a secret hope. And the way in which I see this is that they may have not expressed this to you. They may have not really been honest with you, or or not. They're not dishonest, but they may not have shared with you what it is that they truly feel. That they have this hope, but they are burdened by it. But they have this hope, but the hope of just simply wanting to be with you or uh, wanting to to move things to the next level or take some action steps is actually uh, a real burden for them. And this is what they actually feel. And I feel what the action they are going to take is that they are going to face this burden. You know, they're going to... Well, they're going to face the difficulties here and they're going to try to surmount them. They're going to try to get through them. You know, I see that they have this path ahead of them, which they're planning to take, um, which the, an action that they're planning to take. And it's going to be hard for them. It's going to be really difficult for them. But it's as if they're ready to, to do that. I'm not sure if they're moving already, though. I don't get the sense that they're moving. I feel that they're still there and just watching and looking at what it is that they need to do so that they have this, you know, this mountain that they need to climb, but they're standing here and they're watching, they're looking at it and they are, uh, it's as if they want to take this step and, but I don't know if they've decided to do so as yet. In some cases they may have uh, decided to do so, but I, I feel that they haven't embarked upon this journey as yet. And I think that they very realistically want to actually uh, go through this with you or go through this to come to you but it's very hard for them and they are you know it's it's quite exhausting for them it's very it's very hard to carry this um, this burden uh, and they are they're very tired uh, from it and you know I feel that with them and they they're also just keeping this a secret and that's also tiring and but there's this hope there's this undying hope, but it feels so far, it feels so distant, and it feels like it's like it's a long way away from where they actually, you know, where, where they'd like to be. At the same time, I get the sense that this person is actually so used to feeling this way, that and they've probably felt this way for a while already, or if they haven't felt this way with you for a while, they felt it with other people. They're used to having, like, difficulties and burdens to carry and suffering through a relationship. So I feel that they're quite, in a way, comfortable with that. Uh, that they're not they're not rushing to end this. They're not rushing to take an action that would uh, clear away the difficulties and bring things to the next level. They are simply bogged down by the burdens and the and the heavy thoughts that they have about what needs to be done here. So the way that they're feeling, they're feeling burdened, but they have hope, and. Uh, it's it's a secret, you know. They feel that they need to be secretive about it. They need feel that they not they're not supposed to say anything about it for a while. But that's it for those of you who've chosen this deck. I hope that's been helpful for you and useful for you. For those of you who've chosen the pile number three, the question we're asking today is: What do they feel? What are their feelings for you? And what action are they going to take towards you?
Okay, so here we have a situation where um, they feeling that this has been this is something that's been going on for a while, and that it's the the reason for it or the key for it has has to do with a, a work connection or an institution. It may be that you know uh, they work at a post office and you go to see them and. That is the reason that, and you go to see them regularly. It's an ongoing thing and you've been doing it for years. Or perhaps you're studying at, at, at an institution at which uh, you'll be studying for some time. And um, well, the, the, what they're feeling about it is that this is going to stay for a long time. And the reason for that is because of this institution. The reason for that, is perhaps you work together in a hospital or something like this. And um, they're feeling that this is going to, last for a long time that this is going to be there for some time yeah and they feeling also that it has um it has some some roots you know to it it has some it has some potential there is some light to it there are good there's goodness in it there's a good feeling that comes to them when they they think about you when they feel they have a good feeling for you um but it's it's constantly uh, surrounded by the fact that they are in an institution with you. Perhaps you know you work in a hospital together, or as I said, or you perhaps you study together, or you study with them, or perhaps you simply work together, or you they work in a in a state office where you you need to go there regularly, and that is the key for why they they feel this way. It's it's like uh, they their feelings are very somber as well. It's not as if um, they are free to feel, you know. They feel that they need to feel within a context. They need to feel, it's like they have to um, control their feelings or not really control their feelings, but rather that they need to think within a particular context, as I said. They have to feel within a particular context. And so when they look at this, um, at, when they feel for you something for you, they want to, they feel wholesome thoughts. Because they feel they need to feel wholesome thoughts, because this is because of this this uh, connection that you have, or how you went, how you met each other. Um, there's a sense here that, or, or maybe there is a, a situation here where they there is perhaps there, there is some institution or something that binds you, or that binds you and and or binds them. Okay, and as a result, they need to keep their thoughts or their feelings sober about you. Okay, so it could also be that here that they, they, they may be married. Uh, this is not always the case, but I'm feeling that this is the case that they they may be married and therefore they feel that they need to have wholesome thoughts about you because they're not allowed to have other th kind of thoughts. But how do they feel? They feel emotion. They feel warm. They feel um, like this is a long term thing. This is the sense that I'm getting. Like it's going to last for long. And it's because, as I said, of this institution. So I feel like I'm repeating myself a lot here, but um, I'm just I'm trying to get this across in a in a way in a different way uh, so that you can understand. Um, so what action are they going to take towards you? Well, I feel they're going to communicate with you, and it might be in a written form, like an email. It might be that they give you an article to read. It might be that they suggest that you read something. You they give you a, not a book necessarily, but yeah, something something to read or something. They they it might be that they write you a letter. Um, in some cases, or that they write you an email, or they they send you a text message, and um, this in the, this message is, is there's good news. There's something here that makes you feel happy. There's something here that makes you feel happy to be reading that. It might just be not because of the subject matter. If they give you an article to read, it might not be because of the subject matter that you're excited. Although it could be, but it might be simply because they gave you something to read that you feel happy about about it. Um, but I feel like they will be giving you something here or they will be sending you something or they will be advising you to read something or to look at something or they will be giving you a letter at the very least. You will be reading something. <laughs> That's the result of the action that they will take towards you. So uh, once again, these are just very short readings here just to determine what they are feeling uh, right now. So for those of you who've chosen the fourth deck, uh, we're looking at this one here. The question we're asking today, and it's a very quick one, is what do they feel for you? What are they feeling for you? And what action are they going to take towards you? What are their intentions? Actually, I'm asking what action are they going to take towards you? Not what are their intentions? Because, you know, they're, they could intend something, but that doesn't mean that they're actually going to do it.
So here we have a situation where uh, the person is very comfortable in behaving in a, in a manipulative manner or in a cunning manner or trying to be clever with you. And I feel that they want to cut this away. They want to stop that behavior. And they actually are... Um, so how they've been feeling, actually, right, is that they are being manipulative, they're being cunning, they are being sneaky, they are not actually being uh, direct and forthright with you, they're not being sincere with you, and they feel this, right? And they feel that they've become too comfortable with that. Or they feel that it's been, the way the way that it has been is, uh, it's been like that for, for too long, it's become almost uh, a consistent way of behaving, and uh, that now they need to 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 cut this away. So there's an urgency uh, to actually cut away this way of behaving, all right, or this manner, or to get rid of these feelings, because they don't want to feel anymore like they are uh, comfortable in being a sneaky person or not being direct with you. They're tired of feeling this way. They want some movement. They want some light into their lives. And so what I see, what action they're going to take here is that they're actually going to be moving uh, towards bringing more light to the situation. So they aren't going to be uh, pretending to be something that they're not, or they aren't going to be behind the scenes watching you. Uh, they are not going to be stalking you anymore in some cases that may be relevant. Um, they are going to come forth and show themselves and, and talk about their emotions and actually really bring to light what they've been experiencing. And I feel that this person is actually going to stop this behavior. They're going to uh, just say that, well, it's enough. You know, I'm tired of being in this comfortable situation where I've not been a really, um, I've not really been uh, there for you. I am going to actually come forth and be there for you. And I see that this is a situation which they're taking to greater heights. So I do, I do feel in this scenario that they will be trying to develop a relationship or trying to have a long-term kind of happiness with you. They will be moving towards that. Do you see how this water is endless? There's like an emotion here that's endless and it's it, there's light shining upon it. And so that's what's going to come to, to bear. The fact that they are actually going to talk about the emotions and it's going to be consistent and it's going to be there in the long term as the sun is always there. These feelings are going to be there and he's going to uh, or she is going to be consistent in expressing that emotion so if your person that you're asking about was um was actually behaving in a way that was not really honest or not as kind or maybe just not as forthright in the way that they feel they are going to be changing that here the other thing that i see here is that uh, this person's been feeling for a while, at, at first they might have been feeling that, you know, it's okay to be that way. It's okay to just kind of watch you and enjoy you and, and just to be sneaky. And they've been in that situation for quite some time already in some of your cases. In fact, for most of the cases, it's been like that for some, for some time. But it's something that they've also been thinking that it's now time to cut it away. It's um, And they this urgency that they feel is very contrary to how they have been feeling for a long, long time. So that's actually my point here. It's that this this feeling they have is almost sudden. It's almost just come to be. And uh, they were content to be this way for a while, but they aren't going to be that way any longer. And uh, they are going to cut away th these feelings. They're not comfortable with this anymore. So they are going to cut that away. And they are going to uh, bring something to light here, which uh, involves emotions that involves long term it involves relationship involves being with you and so for those of you who've chosen this um this deck here uh this is actually really uh great news because i think that your waiting has is actually going to pay off uh ultimately so for those of you who've chosen this deck here this is the last of the decks the question we're asking today is what are their feelings what do they feel for you? And what action are they going to take towards you?
Okay, so in this situation, it feels like somebody who's infatuated with you and also not forthright about it. They're not coming forth, they're not talking about it. Um, in some situations, you may be feeling this way as well. I feel that you may also be mirroring each other in this way. Um, I feel that it's a burden for them. They're feeling burdened, once again, by this feeling. They're feeling, um, the reason I said once again, because I think that's come up in one of the readings um, earlier. But um, they're feeling like, they, they are feeling, okay? <laughs> this is very clear. There was a lot of feelings here. There's a lot of contemplation. There's some degree of reflection. And they are, but they are, and they're looking at this emotion that they have. And they're thinking about themselves in it. So it's, it's, they're very much feeling what they are feeling. They're not feeling um, a sense of, um, well, you know, they're not wondering about you. They're wondering about themselves and their feelings right now. Okay, so it's like here, yeah, I feel like they've taken time to um, just, to. they've started having these this feeling for you. And so they've taken time to understand what that feeling is, right? Then they started looking at themselves in the situation and they basically are uh, behaving in a manner which is not really coming forth and talking about how they feel. This person's not going to put themselves in the line. This person's not going to try to be vulnerable. They're not trying to actually say, they're not going to come forth and say, hey, you know what, this is how I feel about you. And what do you, what do you think if we get together? No, this person's actually choosing to stay there and actually just be in themselves and in their own feelings. And... Um, they almost want to enjoy just the feeling that they have. And it it's as if they enjoy, they may know that you have some feelings for them, or they may be aware of this and they enjoy that. And they just sort of uh, immersing themselves in that. And, and and whenever they need to, they, they take a taste from it. They take a drink from it, this feeling that you are adoring them. And then they look at themselves and think about how wonderful that they are. Okay, so this is a bit strange, this message, but it is what I'm getting for this. this. And um, at some point, though, this is going to start being a burden for them. It's going to be, it, start, it starts to punish them. It starts to be really difficult for them. And I feel that they can't actually, uh, yeah, they can't cont continue it. So for some people, that might be already now. But for some people, I'm feeling that even though I've done this, as in what are they feeling now? Yeah, what I'm hearing is that they are still in this space and that this is coming up in their lives in the near future. So uh, I feel that um, here they've been, you know, they're feeling and then they're just enjoying this uh, this, uh, um, you know, this attraction that you potentially have for them and thinking about how wonderful they are, that you actually like them. And um, and this starts to hurt them. Ultimately, it's not good for them. You know, it's them being too much in their ego space. They're not loving. This is not love. Yeah, this is not a feeling where they're wondering about you. They're thinking about how you are. They are uh, sending you good wishes. This is not about that. This is this person who's very self-absorbed here. And I'm not saying that they're a bad person, but we all can be like this at different stages in our lives, in different um, uh, situations. And this is uh, where they find themselves right now. There's no judgment about this here. They don't, uh, I'm not saying that this is a terrible person or something. Um, but what I was going to say is that it starts to wear away at them. You know, it starts to actually hurt them. It starts to, uh, yeah, it starts to be something that really, um, uh, take something away from them. It punishes them. And so they can't sustain this in the long term. And then I see that they are offering something to you. They're offering their loyalty. They're offering their warmth. They are almost uh, not wanting to do so. Uh, they are doing so with trepidation. Uh, they may even do, do it in a way where you're not aware of it. Like you, it's not clear to you that they are offering this loyalty or this friendship because they are doing so in a way that is almost off standish. Okay, so if they start be behaving in a way where they actually coming forth and they being, uh, they presenting themselves to you, but they behaving off standish, this is a sign for you that they actually are trying to communicate with you. They can try to communicate their feelings towards you, but this person doesn't have a clue as to how to 
to process these emotions and how to actually come forth to you. So you may be asking, well, Charlene, give me some clarity here. Do they love me? Do they? What do they feel for me? Well, at the moment, I feel that they have feelings, but these feelings are just about themselves. Yeah, they have feelings um, that it's like they're aware of your attraction for them. And uh, this makes them feel really good. And they're really enjoying that. And it, But it brings out a, a sense of self-appreciation or self-admiration for them. And so they actually, what are their feelings for you? Well, it's not clear what their feelings are for you. Uh, but because they're not actually in touch with those feelings. Here they are, they know that they're feeling something, they are moved by something, but they're not really in touch with their feelings for you. But at some point, the way that they've been behaving or what they've been feeling is going to start to hurt them. And so the they're going to start feeling um, hurt or they're going to start feeling a, sort of the word punished keeps coming to mind. They're going to start feeling punished by these feelings that they have here. And then I feel that they're going to explore what those feelings are and so the action that they're going to take towards you is they're going to start considering what it is that they feel like they're going to be aware of the love they're going to be aware of this fire they're going to be aware of the fact that there's two of you involved here it's not just them right but it's two of you you know if you see here there's a man and a woman and if you see here, there's two of these statues and there's this warmth and they're going to be recognizing that. And I feel that uh, with that, they may sort of appear to you or they may, um, you you might become aware on some level. Maybe they, they troll you on Instagram or on some kind of um, social media platform. But it's like they make themselves present or they make themselves, they make you aware of the fact that they are interested. But they, but they, they do so with trepidation. And they do so with not really being clear but at the same time they're offering uh they're offering something they are making an offer it's not a very um i don't feel that they're throwing this offer they're not wearing their heart on their sleeve this person not immediately maybe later on but they're not throwing their they, they were not wearing their heart on their sleeve they are not um sh you know say phoning you and saying hey i love you <laughs> i want to be with you i've been thinking about you it's been hurting me you know, that I've been away from you or that we are, uh, like I've been having these emotions for so long and I can't actually do anything with it. They are actually finally uh, stepping away from it and uh, and saying, well, uh, yeah, here I am. I have this kind of um, thing that I have to offer you. It's, uh, I recognize the, 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 the emotion, the passion uh, I'm recognizing you and I want to offer you something. Um, yeah, usually this is the dog card and it, it says uh, it has, you know, it's offering loyalty and friendship, etc. But I feel that this is in this reading, it's not saying that at all. In fact, I'm quite uh, um, um, certain that it's not saying that. It's more like, hey, I have something to offer you. And are you there or who are you and what are you? It's like the for the first time they're going to be taking note of you in this scenario. So I think that that is your reading here. And this one was a little bit longer than the others because it gave me a lot more information. Uh, and that is, by the way, in case you're wondering, because a lot of people have asked me this over and over again, um, it's the Mystical Lenormand. And so if you're curious about this deck, yeah, it's a Mystical Lenormand. And, um, and I thank you very much for coming by and uh, reading with me today. Yeah, it's been mostly uh, quite a, a short a reading just to kind of figure out where they're at and uh, how they, they feel about you, so that you know where you at as well. Okay, so I thank you all once again for stopping by, and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.